Good afternoon, everyone. First, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Rémi Tétro, and I've been with MMC Packaging Equipment, a technical business for the past 13 years. Today, we would like to talk with you about some of the trends that we have seen in the closure automation world. The first thing that we'd like to discuss with you is not a trend, but rather a reminder. When considering buying a new liner, lining machine equipment, it's always important to consider the liner. The liner usage is something that's very important. We've recently had a success story with a customer of ours. They had an old lining machine that was doing the operation in a one-up configuration. So they would basically cut the liner and insert it in the closure one at a time. We worked closely with them and showed them that by going to a three-up approach, we were able to generate a lot of cost saving. The liner utilization was way better. One of the trends that we'd like to discuss with you is the switch that MNC has made on its electrical control package. About five years ago, we moved from a PLC-based approach to a PC-based approach. One of the key benefits to it is the change over time. When going from one size to another, it's much more convenient on the PC base. In the PLC era, when a changeover would be needed, the operator would have to replace all the mechanical parts in the machine and furthermore, do the adjustment of all the electrical components, like all sensors, thresholds, the VFD speeds, so long and so forth. In the PC-based era, through the HMI, the operator can easily load a new recipe and then all these new values for all these sensors and all these VFDs can be transferred through the network of the machine. So this way, the changeover is much more convenient and faster. One of the other key benefits is that the remote support while going through a PC is much more convenient. In the PLC era, we would have had to modify the program at MMC, send it to the customer. They would require a special software, download it to the machine. Now with the PC-based approach, we can connect remotely to the machine and do all the changes easily through the PC and then you can see directly in the HMI all the changes that are being made. The other benefit also of the PC base is that we're ready for the industry 4.0. Every data is available from production to downtime. It can be transferred also to any software to manage your production. The other thing that it allows us to do is that we can connect to the upstream and downstream equipment as well. So, as you can see, going to a PC base has brought a lot of benefits for all of our customers. Another trend is vision inspection. When I started 13 years ago at MMC, there was barely any vision within our equipment. Nowadays, it's very common to have it either downstream, before the automation, or in the process itself. Downstream will be used to control the quality of the closure and the liner. Upstream will be used to control the quality of the molded parts before it reaches the automation. This allows for more uptime in the machine. Also, we can read the cavities nowadays. So it's easy to see if the problems come from one cavity in the mold, so you can troubleshoot. Also, we can use it in the process. In the past year or so, we worked on a project where our customer was trying to lightweight its closure. So to do so, they removed some key features that were used then for the mechanical or radial orientation of both parts before the assembly. So we used the vision to find the orientation of both parts and then we could rotate one of them to do the assembly properly. In summary, when considering to buy a new lining machine, please always keep in mind the liner yield as it's very important. Also, the switch from PLC to PC has a lot of benefits, one of which is the productivity as the changeover is much more efficient. Also, we can have a better remote support. We now have the data collection available and we are in the 3.4.0 ready. Lastly, the vision can be used either before, after or in the process itself. In conclusion, thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them.